Okay guys, so in my first video you show how this twin box multi-select jQuery plugin is working now. We'll see how to integrate it. So if you are interested in source code, it's available as guest and I will add my pointer in the blog post. So this is a small guest. So there are two main files. One of them is the CSS code that is pretty much small as you can see and this is the jQuery plugin. So we don't need to do anything with it. These two guys will just be a static resource include into the Visual Force page. And here is the Visual Force page. So if we quickly take a look at the components from the top. So it's a custom controller. I will come to that later on. And uh, this is standard jQuery include. And these are the two files in the guest that we just saw. I included them in a zip file as a static resource. Now, if we skip uh, all this UI glossy stuff, that's basically to get a screen like this. The only piece that you need to configure this plugin is this one. So what you need to tell this plugin is basically a pick list, uh, HTML select list on top of it, it will draw the whole UI. So as uh, we said in the post, like we are not tweaking view state or we are not going to break the visual force binding so here is a standard visual force pick list that's uh, basically backed by contact options that's basically a list of all the contacts that i have loaded and it's uh, basically updating back a, a controller attribute called selected contact ids and it's having multi select true so it if you check this on the controller so it's basically a list of ids so if we scroll down, so what we have done is we have created a jQuery selector using a style suggested by Vas a few weeks back, like ID ending by contact pick list. And here is the plugin name. Now this plugin is taking three inputs that is available list. So that's basically a place where you will show the available container like this available contacts, this white box. The second input is selected list where you will show the selected container. So to create these containers, I've just created two output panels with these IDs. So if you'll notice, I've used the same IDs here in the style was suggested. The third thing, it's an optional if you want to enable search. So you can put your search box anywhere in the UI and integrate it right here. So for my code, it's right here. And here is the ID. So I just passed the CSS selector here. This plugin optionally takes the CSS styles and various other things, but for the sake of demo, I've kept it simple and just passed in the width here. So this is his guide, and using this will enable it on your Visual Force page. You can customize the CSS styles, they are very much minimal as per the look and feel you desire. So hope this helped. Thanks.